everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you this uh, swinging text animation. Pretty easy to do, it should be pretty quick. Alright, um, I'm going to start on my background. I'm going to make a. I'm going to grab my text and write swing in all caps. I'm going to move it to the center of my frame. Um, the first thing you want to do, well, actually, I'm going to have you uh, copy this and paste it so we make two swings. I'm going to be doing two different text lines of text you might only do one so you could just skip that part but there's a way you should do it if you only have two lines of text and I'll be showing you that later on okay so first thing you want to do is make it a 3d layer and then push the a button for anchor point and you'll see the little uh, X Y and Z axis you want to go ahead and put that on the little square at the top center of your text on that little square and just make it exactly there and then when you're done you can go ahead and just make it perfect when you're done you can go ahead and push the P button and I'll bring up position and you can just put it back where it was um, you're gonna have to do that with both lines of text so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one that I just made and go ahead and recopy and repaste it yeah sorry about that sorry about wasting about five seconds of your life okay um, after you do that, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the swing text is on top. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at our rotations. Um, we're going to be using the X rotation. And we're going to go ahead and push this back so that the bottom of the text is behind or back away from the camera. Um, set our first keyframe and then move a few frames I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in this a little bit move ahead a few frames and we're going to go ahead and swing it back towards the camera kind of like a heavy swing pretty far away from the zero degrees and then doing our keyframe push it back a few frames push it back again a little bit maybe 30 or 40 degrees away from zero make a keyframe and then we're gonna make it just zero degrees right back right on front and then if you play it it should make a nice little swing effect but it looks kinda janky um, what you're gonna need to do is do some easy ease uh, go ahead and look at your keyframes I'm gonna go ahead and push these a little bit closer together your first keyframe go to keyframe assistant you right click it go to keyframe assistant and click ease out and then for the two middle ones you're gonna wanna just do uh, easy ease cause that eases in and eases out and then for the last one you go ahead and do ease in just because it's the last one and then if you play it you should see it kind of slows down to a stop and that way it you know looks like gravity is actually acting upon it so that's our first line um, that'll help you guys out who are looking at first lines if you have a if you want to do a second line I'm gonna go ahead and do it here you go to your uh, once it swings up all the way your first line we're gonna have the second line drop in so go ahead and make your first uh, keyframe right there and swing it all the way up with the bottom of the text towards the camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop the opacity. I guess I could just drop the text, but I'm going to go ahead and drop the opacity one keyframe before just so we don't on accident see the line for the first couple seconds. And then go ahead and have it appear. Just maybe push like one or two frames past the keyframe for your first one just so it looks like it's moving slower or faster and then uh, push it backwards again um, do a couple more keyframes past your last keyframe and then have it swing forwards a bit and then finally move a few keyframes and go back down to zero and that should look pretty nice we're gonna go ahead and do the keyframe assistant again we're gonna ease out for the first one easy ease for the second and third ones and then ease in for the last one I like to use easy ease I think it's kind of easier to use than the whole temporal interpolation but then after you play it it'll have the nice little drop down effect anyway uh, I hope that helps you out with your current and future projects um, please subscribe or comment and uh, thank you for watching